Good morning, Guarantees are on view uh, yet again, this time for our sale on Monday the 12th. And uh, as ever, another interesting lot for you. So what catches one's eye this time? Well, these do really, look at this lovely run along here of um, essentially dinky, uh, mostly commercial vehicles. And value, as, as with so many things, is all about condition, but it's also all about uh, scarcity and the sort of labeling and the naming of different um, brands affects the value of these. This one strikes me as a little unusual, the snow cloud. Don't know whether I'm right or not. It just sort of catches my eye, one I haven't seen before. Uh, you see sprats quite a lot these days. You see the Heinz beans, I think. So uh, anyway, nice lot those, all in good condition. Including a lawnmower there. Oh, it's fun, isn't it, the roller lawnmower? So um, those are in a cell. What else have we got? Well, as, as, as ever, all sorts of interesting things. Look at this, we have a nice bow pot here. This is uh, signed up by Davenport Factory. It's got its original cover. I mean, I think traditionally these came in pairs, but uh, nicely painted with a um, landscape there, as well as the flowers. Um, we don't have a, a name of where it is, but uh, nice looking thing that. So that is going to be lot number 464, Curiosity. Further curiosities abound. Underneath here, we have all sorts of things. Some nice corks there. We have some little um, enameled patch boxes. These rather nice, Roundels of um, Romans there. Lovely lot of classical gems, these impressions of um, intaglios in trays. Very popular, those would be like 513. The jewellery, this is just one of the jewellery cases, but a few rather splendid pieces in here. Look at that. That's rather nice, isn't it? That's a sort of late Victorian Edwardian pendant, cabochon, emerald, and diamonds. Will be lot 794. There's other goodies as ever in the jewellery. Um, this looks like a Cartier box. What's inside? A little ring there. Don't know if it's a Cartier ring or not. It'll be on the website, lot 793. Moving on, further around. Lots of lovely silver underneath for you to look at. Again, all sorts of um, useful, practical and curiosity items. What is this? This catches my eye, only because I don't know what it is. And I still, it looks like the uh, tiller of a ship. They come up with uh, an oar. So yes, it looks like we've got a sort of model tiller and oar there, rather unusual. Lot 628, those are, in their original leather cases. Then moving around, looking down the small as well, a mixture of paintings as ever. Uh, we'll pick a few out as we go around. This quite sort of amusing here, this sort of manner of chinnery, this uh, chinoiserie type landscape under moonlight with the figures in the pagodas and what have you. Um, it's later framed, but it's got some age. It's at least 19th century. That, that number there, that stencil, that shows it's been to Christie's at some point in its life. They used to record all their pictures with, uh, with an archival number that they could um, track things as they went through life. That's about 568. And then I'm, so I'm seeing little tea bowls and pieces. I'm seeing some Chinese porcelain. This is rather nice. The sale includes a, a large quantity, the principal contents of a sort of Regency townhouse in Brighton. And all sorts of interesting things have come out of it, including that rather splendid... Um, reverse print on glass. We've got Neptune and, and Nelson. Really, really good thing that. That's lot 277. I suspect that will do rather well. Then, what else? Well, walking sticks, globes, papier mache trays, paintings by um, all sorts of fascinating and marvellously talented artists. This rather large tea canister here, lot 335. It is a tea canister, I guess it is. Yeah, well, it's not that. Again, from the Regency townhouse. As is this, lot 310. This uh, model of classical ruins, I think, from the Forum. Uh, popular on the Grand Tour, these souvenirs. That's lot 310. Down the line, nice little sort of Palais Royale workbox. Very delicate, the original silk padding. Lost most of its tools, unfortunately, but um, there we go. Nice, rather fun, that. Some brandy, some whiskey as ever. The light fitting sold last week. Made a lot of money, that, actually. I think that made about three, four hundred pounds, which um, surprised many in the room. Further round, we have additional um, things for your interest. How about some bird cages there? A lot, uh, 382, I think they were in last week, but uh, let's feature them this time. Delicately made out of bamboo. Got 382. Shell work, the dome's not in good order, but the, uh, the shell work that, um, beneath it is. Got 384, again from the Brighton townhouse, which had a real variety. In, in, in hanging on the wall, you get something like that, a sort of nice uh, late 18th century portrait, and, and hanging next to it would be 
Something along those lines, the feel and give study of a bather. So great fun, all sorts of bits and pieces, lots of things to catch your eye, lots of curiosities, such as this. Look, this lovely hat box with uh, amazing plumes in it. The hat's not there anymore, but the plumes are. Oh, splendid. Usually it's the other way around. Then we've got classical sort of antiquity type souvenirs, bronzes, nice little watch holder there, the hand um, desk clip there. All sorts sort of things you used to see quite a bit in the past and not so often now. Another nice Chinese family um, plate there, the single one there, that's got three, four, five, and then a set of four to match it. Not all in the best of condition, as you can see, the old riveting, riveters have been around in the past. Not 343, I think the other three are good. More of these sort of seal impressions and the like, maple framed. Sort of good decorative fodder that. That's lot, oh, I'm moving it as you're watching it, sorry. That's lot 342. And then coming down the line here, again, more Chinese articles. And then on top of that, we've got things like this nice little, um, this is carved wood, coat of arms. Looks to be quite early. Again, could do quite well, lot 449. Some porcelain, some champagne, some clock sets. It's all here, so do come along and have a look. We'll go over to the warehouse now and see what's been happening in the land of furniture. Magically reappearing in Gallery 1 now. Uh, various furniture is, is on view in Gallery 2 as well, so it's on view in the main room as well as over in the warehouse, including this rather splendid table. Uh, it's, it's made of sort of driftwood, apparently, at the top. Extremely heavy, glass top to it, chrome underframe. Retail's about £1,800. It's in here at four to 600 uh, The chairs are another lot, so not a bad long set of 10 of those chairs if you like the upholstery. And then we've got some quite modern sort of decorative paintings such as this large one here after Godwood. Uh, again, going at kind of modest estimates. I think that one's in at three to 500 So through the rain, over to the warehouse. So here we go again, uh, back in the warehouse. Lots of interesting furniture this week. Went really well on Monday, expecting it to go well again. Uh, from the Brighton townhouse, interesting things such as this bed. Uh, some, some suggest it might be American, not a splendid bed that, not 89, not hugely wide, but a great um, bed for a spare room or what have you, and uh, pretty solid considering its age. Otherwise, from the same property, we see other interesting things. Uh, I'm not sure that this green chair came from there, but it's a good, good looking chair, nice cabriol leg on that, that's got one, two, eight. Over to uh, the side there, the uh, figures on columns, Again, they're not made to go together, but they've got a good look. We've got the shades, we just haven't put them on at present. And then further down, there's a few rather nice sort of empire style, or empire period pretty well, fold tie or armchair. It's got 102 there, the single one there with these nice sort of uh, capitals to the legs. Further on, and point out this rather lovely table, look at this. This is, um, these are carved gilt wood. These rather elegant ram's headed supports with the ebonized column. Not entirely convinced that the top is original. That um, sort of looks very Victorian walnutty to me and not in the best condition, but nice looking table that. Real decorator's piece, lot 100. It's in at three to 500. I think we might see it march on a little bit more um, as the, uh, the decorators spot it and, and decide to contest it. It's really those legs that make it. And then we have more run of the mill things, I suppose, like this classic sort of Edwardian cast iron and brass bedstead. Uh, there's some leather Chesterfields as ever. How about that for a distressed chair? It looks incredibly upset. I don't know that people are still really buying them quite as uh, distressed as this, but, but we'll find out. It's lot 55. Keep your eye on it. You'll have your finger on the pulse of the market. So, all sorts of things here. All sorts of goodies, interesting bits, decorative things, as well as just quite practical and uh, relatively inexpensive furniture. So, do come along and see us. Usual story. We're on view here all day Friday, Saturday till one, and then on the morning of the sale, kicks off at 9.30. Thank you very much.